Yo, yo, what's good? You already know it is. It's your one that I'll come and catch you yet another video, man. Before we start this video, I'll pray to do some more. Shout y'all. Make sure you guys give a like to Lauren Savior. And also, man, make sure you guys like and subscribe on the video. You're never trying to grow a lot. How being attractive changes everything. The moment you become attractive, you know everything changes. Your dating life isn't the same. Your everyday life experiences isn't the same. You know what I'm saying? The more and more good looking you become, just the more and more changes you are going to experience in life. And um, you will understand as we get into these talking points, you'll understand that life is completely different when you're attractive versus when you wasn't attractive. You know what I'm saying? You'll start noticing every little small detail that is different from, you know what I'm saying, when you went that attractive, you know, when you were probably average, you know what I'm saying, or, or below average for some of y'all ass. Um, that's how straight into it, man. Number one is everybody treats you with the halo effect. I'm going to do another video on the halo effect. But essentially, the halo effect is just tying good looks to good opinions to good judgment you know what i'm saying the better you look oh you know he's a nice they, they just gonna say anything positive about you when you could be the worst person your ass could be a serial killer you you could have just killed people and oh just because you look oh man that's a nice guy right there you know i hope he gets the best that's how the halo effect works people will project a good personality on you they will project positive affirmations on you. You know what I'm saying? All because you look good. And they don't even know you could be the most, you could be an asshole. You could be a person that nobody likes. You could be, in the inside, you could be a person that nobody wants to be around. You could be a weird ass dude who counts pigeons all day. Keep them in a damn cage in your damn room. You could be one of them type of guys. But because you are attractive, the halo effect is working like a charm for you. That's why you have a lot of people that come up and always giving you props. They be belittling themselves and giving you props like, oh, man, I wish I could be that shredded. You know, I wish I could do that. You so shredded, man. All they do is give you positivity just because they looking at the outside when they don't know. They don't know who you really is in the inside. But that's how the halo effect works. The halo effect can really get you into some places without you having to do or say pretty much a little bit of anything you know what i'm saying you don't have to really say too much you know what i'm saying because they are looking at you and humans man humans we like looking at attractive things and when we see attractive things we don't do nothing but connect positive things to it just like when you see a beautiful woman man all you're thinking about is how beautiful she is it takes a different level of discipline to actually be like, okay, she's beautiful, but her pussy could stink. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have to really be an experienced individual, a wise individual to not let looks overpower you. Because for the majority of the population, man, looks is going to overpower you whether you are male or female. They don't even matter, man. It's going to overpower you and it's going to just, your mind is just going to instantly think of good things to say about some somebody who's attractive rather than somebody who's unattractive what's the first thing you thinking man they ugly as hell yeah y'all know i'm not capping you know what i'm saying we, you ain't gotta say it out loud but when you see somebody ugly man do ugly as hell. you know how y'all be saying that or you see a girl that don't look so good man i ain't gonna lie she ugly as hell you know what i'm saying you'll say something like that the mind just does that automatically like you won't even be thinking about it but soon as you look at him, your mind just instantly says that. So that should tell you, man, it's the same thing with being attractive. The halo effect is going to work in the same manner. Your mind going to instantly start thinking positive things about somebody who's attractive. It just is what it is. Next, guys, is that haters are very jealous of you, man. Something you'll notice is that the more and more attractive you become, you'll realize you had haters you didn't even know was haters. People who are so-called your friends, not your friends no more, man. They looking at you as competition. They looking at you as an enemy. All because you worked on yourself, guys. When you start getting in the gym, a lot of your fat ass friends that ain't in the gym, they just wanted you to stay the same. They're gonna start looking at you like you a damn alien or something. 
they gonna start looking at you like you crazy they gonna be jealous of you because you posting your physique online you know they're jealous oh man i'm gonna have to unfriend dude he posting this physique you know or they they'll be or they'll type in a uh, little little reply bar on your story you did that wrong or you doing this wrong man i had one guy that literally don't even got not a muscle on his body not a muscle on his body nothing but pure body fat and dude talking about some i'm i'm doing it wrong talking about some i'm cutting wrong i was supposed to go up first and then go it's always people who don't got nothing to show for what the subject is about but they always got something to say you know why because they are haters they are haters like it's it's i just find it crazy to me guys that somebody who don't even look as close to you as not even near as the amount that you look nowhere near shredded as you look or sit here and try to give you advice on being shredded and they not even close to being shredded so guys you must understand that the haters are coming man the haters gonna be mad they gonna swear up and down that you're lying you know what i'm saying because you're saying hey look i don't gotta approach women like that women will approach me or Women make it easy for me. They'll, they'll sit here and be sneaking off trying to, you know what I'm saying, get with me. They'll be hitting me up at like, you know what I'm saying, one, two in the morning trying to get me to drive two hours to come smash them. And keep in mind, we ain't never met a day in our life. They'll get mad at you for telling them that this is what happens. That this is how women really operate. That women will real really be geeked over that guy that they find very attractive. They'll sit here and be doing all that slutty stuff. And... The other dudes will swear up and down she's an angel. She can't do no wrong and she's not like that. And oh, nah, she ain't like, you lying. The girl that they sitting there happen to chase and chase and chase and chase and chase and chase and do all this extra stuff for her, trying to spit all these stupid ass pickup lines. That's the girl that's literally flirting with you. So the haters are going to come because it is because they like, damn, why is he getting that type of experience and I'm not getting that type of experience? It's all linked to jealousy, man. Guys are jealous because they can't experience that. And guys also don't want to put in the work. They don't want to do certain things that it requires to be attractive. They don't want to do that. They want to just be mediocre with it and expect those type of results. But you, on the other hand, nah. You go all out, you go to the extreme, and you make sure you look up the part to get those type of results. But these other guys, they're not doing that. They're depending on all this other stuff, money, you know what I'm saying, running up, cold approaching, just chasing pussy all day just to, you know what I'm saying, try to get those experiences, just to be on the surface of those experiences. So, of course, the haters are coming out. The haters are going to really hate you, guys that don't even know you, that don't even know you, or say something crazy to you. Oh, you you think you all that? I could pull as many holes as you, and I ain't even worked out, and I'm fat. You look like a dirty. You just just being a a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Just being a bitch. I can't stand haters who you know what I'm saying. Just hate for no reason. They don't even know you. They just being a bitch. You know what I'm saying? And last is that women are more cooperative. They're very cooperative. They're willing to let you know. Like, listen, I want to smash. I want to smash. I want to smash. Literally, guys, I had a girl literally. Keep in mind, me and this girl have been on and off a little bit, but I've never seen this girl, never linked with her. This girl texted me last night on Snapchat after she seen me post my body. She texted me to my some, I'm trying to get some back shots. She two hours away, but she texted me to my some, she trying to get some back shots. Guys, I wasn't finna drive in no damn rain no two hours. What the hell do I look like? No, I ain't doing that. But... They'll be very straightforward with you, letting you know that they want to smash. They being aggressive. They coming to your house first. They trying to take you out on a date. It's the other way around, man. They so cooperative, it's ridiculous. They, they very cooperative because most guys don't try to go off the female gaze. They're going off the male gaze. I'm going to do a video on that, man. That's why they don't get the interactions that attractive guys do because attractive guys go off of the female gaze we're going off of what women find attractive most of these dudes just want to be laid up with hard legs y'all and i'm just being honest they'll go off of what the hard legs say you feel me but if you guys enjoyed this video man make sure you hit that like button also subscribe if you're new comment down below 
and I'm out.